Right, this is it folks, the track to Higher Hair Nap, and there's some people ahead of me there. The track down there is Lower Hair Nap. They run parallel almost, but one tends to go back down <coughs> into the Summerton Coombe, I think. Um, just while we're here, we just have a bit of a look round. Yeah, sometimes you get the ponies here. The wind's dropped again. It was a little bit breezy there. A crosswind came. They did say there could be some cloud again in the later... after the morning, you know, later in, in the afternoon. It's holding out a little bit, but I think we could be under cloud eventually. So... I'm going to just take advantage of videoing while well, there's a little bit of blue sky because, you know, when all that goes, the photography really does change and it becomes grey and dull. So there's a nice, lovely picture of Dowsborough Hill Fort there. Look at it. Covered in trees, mainly. Iron Age Hill Fort, it's got lots of evidence of its ramparts and things like that. And they, they haven't had to take all the trees off. Um, I've climbed up it. That slope there, I've climbed up into it. And um, there are other areas, I haven't been right round it for a while. But I do intend to. Now if I zoom in over there, we can see the sheep looking very shiny on the hill. Very, very shiny with the suns on them. See? Quite a big herd, actually. I haven't spotted the cows yet. And I'm not really sure whether the cows have been taken in. Or whether they take them in at all. I can't remember about this. There is a big herd. They seem to be mainly up over that area. They seem to stay a lot over there. But I have seen them here as well. So, and I think there's more than one herd. I just wonder if there was a little lady that I used to bump into when I had my van. I used to be coming over to Holford a lot. Uh, a couple of times each month I would be over. And I used to bump into a, an old lady. She lived in Bridgewater, but she was a real character. And she must have been in her 80s. And uh, she's a real, real rough diamond. Uh, and, and she always used to speak to me. And, you know, she's a tough old character, you know. And she didn't like the hunting and all that, you know. I uh, bumped into her. And she used to like doing lower hair nap. Um, she used to have a little routes that she did that would take her about four hours. She said that was enough for her. She doesn't, now that she was older, she said she didn't sort of stray too far. Um, and she had her car, but she used to have a camper van and she always admired old Bertha. And uh, I, I haven't seen her since I haven't had old Bertha because I don't park, you see. I now got a completely different way of getting here. It's, it doesn't cost me any more. It probably costs me less, actually, to come on the train and bus. Because I don't pay for the bus. I get a free bus. Otherwise, it would probably cost me about 30 quid to get here. I don't pay for the bus. And I get a senior discount on my rail card. So it costs me, I think, it's £6, 10p. That's return from... Western to Taunton, it's the normal fare is £18 something. I save a lot. And uh, it's encouraged me that, and I've got it running, I get off the train, I only have to wait maybe 20 minutes sometimes for the, for the bus. Um, the train's a bit different, I could wait longer. I could have to wait longer for them. Um if the train's late or anything like that. But then you can go and get a coffee. You're sheltered. 
Um, the buses run every half an hour, even at the moment they're still running every half an hour up until at seven or half or seven in the evening. Uh, trains aren't quite so frequent, so I have to try and... I mean, I haven't done a really late train yet, but I think that could be a possibility today because I'm trying to enjoy this weather before the winter, to be quite honest. You see, when I had Alberta, I could keep spare clothes. You know, there was always a hot drink. Um, and, and I knew she was there. If anything happened, I could go back to my van. Do you know what I mean? And um, I wasn't hanging around waiting for buses or anything like that. And I, I mean, now if I get covered in mud, I've got to walk, go on the bus like it, go on the train like it. I can't carry a load of clothing. That's the difference. But to be able to get here is the most important thing to me. But I have to... I have to assess each time because I haven't got a vehicle now at the moment anyway what's the best times to do things now this this has turned out a really good day I mean it could pour with rain by four o'clock I mean you can't always tell but it's not predicted to it's not forecast to I haven't been out on my bike much this year. I'd love to do the strawberry line. I don't know if I can fit it in yet, but what will happen? This is quite a big walk for me now. Um, because there's going to be a lot of commotion in the building tomorrow. Because somebody's moving out. There'll be a lot of banging and people moving up out. Who's moving out in the, another flat. I'll probably try and get out for the day somewhere tomorrow. <sighs> I don't like saying goodbye to people. She was a nice, nice woman, really. But she needed uh, better, more suitable accommodation for her disability. Let's put it that way. And uh, the steep steps weren't, stairs and that weren't good for her. So... She's managed to find another place, and um, I should miss her. I don't. She only told me the other day she was going. It was a little bit of a surprise, not a total surprise, because I knew she was looking. But you know, you sort of get to know somebody for a couple of years, and that's the trouble, you know. People move, don't they? You can't. That's why I tend to do a lot on my own because I can't build up. I don't. It's a, I don't know what it is really, it's just, my mum died when I was young, my dad, you know, it's like people go, die on you. So it hurts when that happens. So it hurts. My own sister died a couple of years back and she loved this, these hills. Her ashes are up here. So I, when I come up here I think of her a lot. Well, not loads, not in a morbid way. I think where well, she loved it here, and I've always loved it as well. You know, but she's in the spirit world. She's in the spirit world now. That piece over here, I hope. Whenever I see deer, I I keep thinking, I wonder if Jude is running with the deer. I wonder if she is. I think of her a lot. I miss her, really. Uh, I've missed her for years. <sighs> miss her a lot. Anyway, not to worry. We've got our memories. That's all we've got. You never see them again. Nah, my mum died 50-odd years ago. You never see them again. Once we go, that's it. You've, you've just got your memories. And maybe some photos. I never got her voice. Now, people, when I go, they say, oh, yeah, well, she does like 3,000 videos. This is true. If you forget my voice, just go on YouTube. You'll find me somewhere. <laughs> oh, beautiful, though, isn't it, up here? I just love this place. So did Wordsworth and Coleridge. 
because it's beautiful. I like them. I wonder if they came back now. Because there are bikers around now. You've never had bikers. These tracks are probably very tiny. wonder what they... they the main structure of the hills are the same, aren't they? You know, the fort's been there for thousands, millions of years. Not the fort, the geology. Yeah, so I was right over there earlier. There's a mound on there. So to go down the other side of the mound, that way. That's where Paradise Coombe is. I've got to come back up. Yeah. This isn't me going home. I've got to come back up. Over now. I'm videoing, Sheila. Turned off some people came. So this is Higher Hair Nap. The plan is to get over onto the hill of it and to the trick point, which is, I'll just zoom into it. It's not far really, not now. <sighs> Hold on, here we go. Homing in, the camera's not homing in like it used to. I can see some people. They won't be there long. And then there's that, there's the the car nut. Yeah, some people. Young people, I think. Yeah, so there we go, folks. Beautiful, beautiful Quantox. Yeah, so there's, there are some kids up there, teaming. I can't tell, but they look young. I'm always, like to see young people out and doing exercise, it's good for them. They can be rude sometimes though, you know, but most of them aren't, thank goodness. Cheeky, I should say. That's just young people for you though, isn't it? Cheeky. Somebody going near the car now. He's probably going to put a stone on. I usually put a stone on. That could be that bloke I saw earlier. No, it can't the same. Surely not. No, it can't be. I think the other one had a beard and dark hair. Oh, it's so gorgeous, this. Turning off for a while.